theater, but now improv is giving kids much more than just a few laughs. CBC's arts reporter Brittany Robinson has the story. You, sir, you are smart. Like Jaden Morasti is rolling with the punches and the punchlines. I like to act and stuff like that. It's really fun. It's the most thing I like to work every month is come and see those guys and they, we get to act and stuff and play a lot of games with them. Oh, what's your favorite color? It's a monthly event here at Pleasant Hill Community School. The No-No's Improv Troupe take over the classroom. There are no rules and no inhibitions allowed. We just only your favorite color. These students weren't always so eager to participate. Some say they worried about being teased, but eventually these actors won them over. The kids are better at it, to tell you the truth. They're kind of wired to just live it with imagination and you know, like you said, with improv, you, it is tricky. You're creating realities, you're creating environments just off the top of your head, and who better do that than younger kids and younger uh, adults? That'll be $47.30, please. As the students let their imaginations wander, other lessons sneak in. It taught me how I don't have to follow up inside me about who I really am, and I can just act fun around people and not care what the people think about how I am acting. You know, the kids are so happy to have this and, and do it. They get so excited. And, and you see kids that, when we first started coming here uh, a year ago, um, to where they are now, the, the confidence that it's built and how excited they are to just do this when we come in and get into the scenes and everything. That's why we love coming. So now this improv class is working towards the big show, that being the year-end concert in June. They're going to stand in front of the whole school and show them what they've learned in improv theater. Brittany Robinson, CBC News, Saskatchewan.